Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. I swear to God, if this stops... No! And he loves peckles and walnuts, and he simply adores those little cheese footballs, don't you, my oh. darling? Oh, Major. isn't he beautiful? Very attractive little fella. What is it? He's a little shih tzu. <laughs> really? Oh, dear, dear, dear. What breed is it? Well, they're... They're a lap dogs, aren't they? A lap dog? Oh, how, how hard to imagine him stalking a reindeer. What? <laughs> uh, Major, can I get you another one? Uh, why not? Major. Why not? Good. For you, Mr. Chase? Oh, nothing for me, thank you. But Prince would like a little saucer of warm milk, because it's nearly our bedtime. Yes, and Manuel, we'll... Manuel will attend to its heart's desires. I'm afraid I'm lumbered with the people Mr. tonight. Uh, Manuel, um, poor fellow. El Pero Microscopico. Hmm? Oh, good evening, Dr. Price. Good evening. Uh, what can I get you? A scotch, please. And I suppose it's too late to get anything to eat, is it? I missed dinner. Uh, what did you have in mind? Well, I rather fancy some sausages. Oh, I'm afraid Chef would have knocked them away. Uh, we could do you sandwiches, ham, cheese, tomato. Uh, ham, thank you. Right, I'll just arrange it for you. Basil! Stop. Could you make some ham sandwiches, please? Look, I'm trying to price. Oh, of course. Yes, one moment, Doctor. <laughs> Here we are, Major. Oh, Excuse me, Malone. Oh. Found another draft, have we? We have to be very careful, Mr. Faulty. He's not very strong. Indeed, yes. A rapid movement of air could damage him irreparably. If, um, <laughs> if only one could keep them in airtight containers. Ready to breathe, would he, Faulty? Well, he could try, Major. He could try. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you. No, it's a bit late. We'd better get upstairs. Quite, Come on, quite. Right, yes. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you. Um, Doctor, one, 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 two. Oh, no, just one, please. My favourite. <laughs> no, no. She was the one he had with him the third time. The first one was the dowdy one. Then his wife. Then her. And now this red. Oh yes, that must have been lovely. Number twelve. Let's see. Thank you. How very the big lovely. Woman. Yes, that was them. Not much. They get less fussy as they get older. <laughs> Sorry about this. Please, it couldn't matter less we're meeting in the morning anyway. You've had a long journey. Mm. You'll get a good night's sleep. Are you sure you're feeling all right? Oh, fine, fine. Just a little... <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Well, you get straight to bed and we'll pick you up here at 9.30. We'll have a coffee and go into the MD at 10. Fine, thanks, OK. Right. Good, well, good night. night. Yes. Sleep well. Good, good night. night. <laughs> Bye. See you in the morning. Yes. See you at 9.30. Yeah. Sorry. Harris? Oh, no, on his own again. Oh, no. I wouldn't have thought so. He watches the football. Uh, Number eight, isn't thank it? Thank you. Where are we? Are you feeling all right? Uh, not too good, no. Oh, dear. Would you like a little hot something? Oh, no, no. Fine, thank you. Oh, well, if there's anything you need. Yes, thank you. No, that wasn't him. That was a new one. Good night. I said good night. <laughs> oh, good night. Didn't hurt, did it? <laughs> good manners cost nothing, no. He's not feeling very well, Basil. We only have to say good night, dear. It's not the Gettysburg address, is it? Basil, when you're not feeling well. Just two of the words, dear, to bring a little happiness into the world. Excuse me. Yes, Mr. Lehman, what can I do for you? Uh, do you think I might have breakfast in bed in the morning? In bed? Yes. Of course, Mr. Lehman. Oh. Yes, we can manage that, can we do Yes, that? we can. I'll pull you back. I'm sorry. Well, most of our guests manage to struggle down in the morning. I won't. <laughs> Oh, I don't. Our chef does a very good for breakfast: eggs, bacon, sausage, tomato, fried bread. The continental. Uh, you wouldn't care for kippers? Oh, fine, kippers. Yes, thank you. Toast, butter, marmalade. Yes, thank you. Tea or coffee? Yes, the uh, tea. Thank you. A newspaper? The Telegraph. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Rosewood, mahogany, tea. <laughs> uh, I beg your pardon. What would you like your breakfast tray made out of? <laughs> I don't really mind. Are you sure? Fine. Well, you go along and have a really good night's sleep then. I'm hoping to get a couple of hours later on myself. But I'll be up in good time to serve you your breakfast in bed. If you can remember to sleep with your mouth open, you won't even have to wake up. I'll just <laughs> drop in small pieces of lightly buttered kipper when you're breathing in the right direction, if that doesn't matter. Basil loves his job. Basil? 
Sausages, please. Just sausages? Mm, just sausages. Tea or coffee? Coffee, please. Oh, what is? Oh, no, not a saucer. Come on. I said a bowl. A boy. Yes, and not cold like that. That's too cold. I said tepid, didn't I? Mas grande, Manuel. De agua caliente. Ah. Catch pneumonia from that. And bring another cushion. He's not quite high enough. Sausages on six, Terry. Coming out. Grande, Manuel. Another car strike. Would you believe it? Put these kippers back, would you, Basil? They ought to get butlins to run our car factories. In the fridge. You should have been eaten by when was the sixth? Oh, that's all right. It says on the packet, Sybil. They're all right, Mr. Fawlty. The sixth? That's just a couple of sausages. Eggs and sausages, Paul. <laughs> on the table, on the table. So <laughs> Now, put that under him. Get out of here, lady. The cushion, the cushions. Oh, shh. <laughs> he bite me. You frightened him. Okay. You make sudden movements like that, of course he's going to bite. Don't you have dogs in Calcutta? <laughs> India? Excuse me, but I have an order for eggs and sausages for this table. Oh, yes. The sausages are for him. Oh. What's the matter, Manuel? He bite me. Cut them up. Cut them up into little pieces. Don't you tell Polly what to do. No, not my eggs. Not my eggs. Ah. Sausages. Oh, sorry. Ah. He bite Polly, too, you see. Look, if dog in the dining room. At least the staff should know how to handle them. I, I would punt that dog if it touched Polly. Cut them up in the kitchen. <laughs> Little pieces. He <laughs> hurt you, Polly. Oh. Basil, what are you doing? Do you know when the six was, Sybil? Will you just take it upstairs? They're all right, Mr. Fawlty. Well, how are supposed to be that? Basil, funny? will you just take it up? What's the matter, Mamma? Oh. That hairy mosquito just bit us both. What? It's not right in dining room like that. Well, she pays extra for the dog man, well, you see. Basil, it's after eight. Poisoning is still an offence in this country, you know, Sybil. Oh, well, do get a move on. We've got a busy day. I've got the laundry men. The laundryman? My God, a woman's work is never delegated. <laughs> What are you doing, Polly? Just preparing some sausages. Bangers a la bang. Good morning, breakfast. Breakfast. Here we are. Another car strike mile, isn't it? Taxpayers pay millions each year to get the money go on strike. He's it's dead. Socialism. <laughs> I mean, if they don't like making cars, why don't they get themselves another bloody job designing cathedrals or composing violin concertos? The British Leyland concerto in four movements, all of them slow, with a four hour tea break in between. I'll tell you why. Because they're not interested in anything except lounging about in conveyor belts, stuffing themselves with my money. You don't mind if I turn them. <laughs> Light off. Well, enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> oh, not at all. Thank you for mentioning it. Unbelievable. Not a single bloody word. It's 5.30 in the morning, so they lounge around in bed till midday. Do you get so much as a word of thanks? What's that? Forgot the milk. Well, don't get talking to him. You never get away. Would you believe it? I get him his breakfast, I take it all the way upstairs, I lay it in front of him, hand him his newspaper, I tidy the room, draw the curtains, and guess what he says? I said, guess what he says? Mm, nothing. Your friend, the one in eight, nothing. Not a word. Are you listening? Hello? Can, hello? Can anybody hear me? Have I ceased to exist? Have I suddenly become invisible? Sybil, 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 can you see me? No. Oh, good. Well, I go and lie down then. No, I won't. I'll go and hit some guests. Oh, poor little Tom of Mama. Oh, no, please. Dr. Price's sausages. What is he, Polly? He's dead. Dead? Who? Number eight. <laughs> Lehman? But Basil just took him his breakfast. He's cold. Oh, no. Well, he's certainly struggling for life at the moment. Dead dog in the breakfast room, eh? Egon Rone knock off a star for that. No, no, Mr. Lehman, dead. 
Well, that would explain a lot. <laughs> no, Mr. Paul. <laughs> really? Paul just said so. What are you on about? I just took him his kippers. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> But I live. What are you doing? What are you doing? I told her I told her the six week you get 20 years for this. What? <laughs> the kippers, the kippers all He thinks he poisoned him. He's been dead for hours. <coughs> Mr. Faulty, he's cold. He's been dead for hours. He must have died in his sleep. <coughs> Mr. Faulty. What, what? He hasn't touched those kippers. Well, look. Feel him. What? Feel him. <laughs> He's stone cold. Yes. <laughs> oh, joy. Oh, thank you. Oh, isn't it wonderful? I'm so happy. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> ah, cool. Bit stuffy, isn't it? I'll, I'll open a window. Who? Uh, who found the body? Polly did. Nope, nope, Basil. I was bringing him up the milk and... We'd forgotten it. You brought the milk with the breakfast? No, the breakfast was already <laughs> up. Well, who brought the breakfast? Who found it? <laughs> oh, I thought it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> um, that's a bit of it. A bit of what? A bit of the breakfast. <laughs> you brought him his breakfast? Yes. So you told her he was dead? <laughs> yes. Well, then, why did you bring him... <laughs> why did you bring in the milk, then? Why? Yes, why? Well, when he said Mr. Lehman was dead, I thought he said he's still in bed. Well, he didn't exactly say he was dead, Doctor. Well, I said he was pretty quiet. Internet? Sorry, continue. I found a better way. <laughs> you brought him his breakfast? Yes. So you told her he was dead? <laughs> yes. Well, then, why did you bring him... <laughs> why did you bring him the milk, then? Why? Yes, why? Well, when he said Mr. Lehman was dead, I thought he said he's still in bed. Well, he didn't exactly say he was dead, Doctor. Well, I, I said he was pretty quiet. Quiet? Exactly. What were you talking to him about, Basil? Car strikes, was it? <laughs> Thank you, Sybil. I don't understand. He's been dead for about ten hours. This is so final, isn't it? Basil! Well, wouldn't you say it was final, dear? I'd say it was pretty bloody final. <laughs> you mean to tell me you didn't realise this man was dead? Well, people don't talk that much to them. Well, look, look, I'm just delivering a tray, right? If the guest isn't singing, oh, what a beautiful morning. I mean, his head went like this. So, uh... I had to pee, sorry. Beautiful I washed my I hands. Immediately think, oh, there's another one snuffed it in the night. Another <laughs> name in the Forty Towers Book of Remembrance. I mean, this is a hotel, not a Burma railway. Yes. But, I mean, he does actually say hotel outside. I mean, perhaps I should be more specific. Hotel for... Burma railway. Jesus, dark. People who have a better than 50% chance of making it through the night. What do... Guys, let me shut up and just rewatch that. Railway? say hotel outside you know i mean perhaps i should be more specific hotel for people who have a better than 50 percent chance of making it through the night what are, you, what are you looking at me like that for basil there's a keeper sticking out of your jacket. <laughs> Doctor. Shall I ring the undertaker? Uh, would you, Polly? I've been up since 5.30, you know! <laughs> he was leaving today. Some people are coming at lunchtime. Well, we'll put him in another room. We're full tonight. Oh, do put that away. Are they going to hide the body? Get the body into the office until the undertaker's come. Yep. Now, when doctor's finished. <laughs> what are you doing? Making up his bill. <laughs> We'll leave it in his wallet. They're bound to look there. Better not charge him for breakfast. <laughs> Mr. Simpkins? Faulty Towers here. I'm afraid somebody's died during the night. When could you collect the body? Somebody? Anybody, really? Good morning, good morning. Oh, you're very careful this morning, Mr. Faulty. Yes, well, one of the guests has just died. <laughs> you are wicked! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Mr. Faulty? Go and get the body. Yes, if you oh, can. Would it, would it be all right to move Thank you. To move? <laughs> <laughs> Can I use the phone, please? I have to call the coroner. The coroner? 
I can't give him his death certificate. I'm not his daughter. Dang it, dang it. Thank you. <laughs> but I use the phone, please. I have to call the coroner. The coroner? I can't give him his death certificate. I'm not his doctor. I have to report his death to the coroner. Oh, I see, of course. Do come this way, doctor. All clear! All clear! I see. Good morning, then, Bill. Oh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right. Leave it. No, leave it. It's heavy. Oh, no, it's quite all right. Put them down. No, no, don't bother. We can manage. Oh, it's no bother. No, no, leave it alone. I know. If I just fold them like Yes, go away. Move, move, move. move. <laughs> okay. I'll do it, Miss Tibbs. No, it's all right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> Spiffing. Absolutely <laughs> Two murders. Well done. Two dead, 25 to go. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. <laughs> I just dropped my ring. Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry, I'm in your way. That's quite all right. <sighs> oh, is this your room? Yes. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Did you enjoy your breakfast? Oh, yes, thank you, yes. Uh, uh, choose us. Do you think we could just go inside and get a... Not really. <laughs> Pardon? Well, well, it's been cleaned. Mr. Forty's doing it. Uh, but we want to get our things. Yes, we're going out, you see. Oh, well, it'll only take a couple of minutes. Well, I'm sorry, we're a little late. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Forty? Mr. Forty? Oh, clear! Mr. Forty? <laughs> Um, I was just explaining that you were doing the room. Yes, probably five minutes. Well, couldn't you do it later? <laughs> um, take that ash trap, will you, Manuel, please? The big one. Um, could, you, could we do it later? The when big we got one. Our well, it'll only be a couple of minutes. Look, faulty, we... <laughs> I love this show. The big one. Could, you, could we do it later? When we've got our things. Well, it'll only be a couple of minutes, please. The big one. Um, <laughs> could, you, could we do it later? He's locked it. Oh, well, that's just a precaution. Have you locked this? Only slightly. <laughs> Will you let us in? <laughs> no, get the coats. Get the coats. What's going on? Well, he's a Don't bit of a perfectionist. Don't you talk to Polly that way. Ready! <sighs> What's been going on in here? Well, we tried uh, rearranging the furniture, but it didn't really work. Uh, Manuel has your coats. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. He's from Barcelona. <laughs> oh, what a noise! Oh, it's just my back. No, no, that morning. Oh, oh. oh yes, that's all. <laughs> no, no, it's coming from the cupboard. Well, we'll get some oil. Um, have a nice day. There's someone in there. What? Yes, listen. No, no, no. No one. Good Lord, so there is. Let them out. Good idea. Right. Well, um, well, go on. Yes, we're going to. It's the next thing on the list. Oh, um, if you do get a chance to visit the museum, open well, right, it right, now, will okay. you? Oh, 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 all right. Yes, right. Oh, it's locked. Oh, damn. Where's the key? Yes, so where is the key? Do you have any idea, Polly Manuel? I expect we've got to downstairs somewhere. Okay. Where's the key? Didn't see your pocket. There it is. Did you, Manuel? No. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Well, we got it now. It's all right. Am I acting way too weird towards Polly, guys? I'm sorry. I think she's a beautiful, attractive, wonderful woman. Oh, well done, Manuel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Well, we got it now. It's, it's all right. All right. right. I will. I will. I will. Uh, uh, oh, uh, hey, uh, 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 How'd she get in there? She has trouble with her arm. That's why she goes in the cupboard.
Yeah, exactly. Are you feeling better? Her arm gets stuck there. It's always happening to her. He's dead. This is her husband. She hasn't got over it. Died 30 years ago. She doesn't mean any arm. <laughs> In the cupboard. No more today. Uh, You've uh, had enough. Oh, my God. Look, look, look. Manuel, you're the best. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you. That's enough. Thank you. Anything else we can do for you? <laughs> what was so horrible, Mrs. Faulty? You've no idea. Oh, I know. It was pitch black in there, and that thing with its hand. Oh, I know. Now, you have a little rest and try to think of something else. But anything could have happened. Well, he was dead, dear. A man is a man, Mrs. Faulty. Oh, I know. I should speak to him about it. Speak to him? To Mr. Faulty, where his oldest residence. Well, have a little rest first. Frightening me like that. I shall speak to him. Have a word with him in a little while when you're feeling better. Mm -hmm. I see, yes. Thank you. It's all right, dear. They've got rooms at the Sea View. Tonight? Yes. Well, let's have a look at it. Yes, and if that's no good, we'll try the one up by the prophylactic emporium. <laughs> okay. Oh, morning, Phil. Yeah. Oh, hello, Major. Any, any sign of the papers? Well, you, you've got it, Major. Have I? Oh, yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> well, I say, I say, Bully, he doesn't look, uh, he doesn't look quite the ticket. Well, Major, um, <laughs> don't say anything to anybody, but he's dead. Ah. <laughs> Shot, was he? <laughs> no, 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 died in his sleep. In his sleep? Ah, well, you're off your guard, you see. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Bully, I, I, I snorted, I'm sorry. Screw it. I snort sometimes. Shot, was he? I love you, Major. No, no, died in his sleep. In his sleep? Ah, well, you're off your guard, you see. Yes, yes, fine. Yes, yes, yes. I, I shouldn't uh, let him lie around here, you know. No, 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 no the undertakers are coming to get him. Ah, because they attract the flies, you see. <laughs> From the war. Look, I've been waiting in there. What? I haven't had any breakfast yet. Oh, uh, right, sorry. Uh, come in, come in. <laughs> Turn his sausages. Mr. Faulty! Mr. Faulty! I want a word with you, please. The stove is not Sorry about the delay, Doctor. Normal service has been resumed as soon as possible. <laughs> More coffee? Uh, tea? Tea? I'll, I'll turn the radio down. <laughs> <laughs> it's Phoebs. Oh, no. Would you believe it? What did you put him there for? Well, he wouldn't fit the safe and all the drawers were full. Come on, man. <laughs> wonderful, isn't it? Our guests, they give us trouble even when they're dead. Come on. <laughs> Where are you taking him? Kitchen. Holly! <laughs> <laughs> They're going to put him in the oven, aren't they? I'm afraid send him down the crematorium. Oh, you can't keep a dead body in here with us food, can we? Of course not. Oh, right, okay. Sorry, Manuel. Put it in there. Not in here. What? Not in the kitchen. Oh, right. Oh, Sybil, I'm looking after Miss Tibbs, Basil. How are you feeling, dear? Uh, won't be two minutes. Okay. 
Sorry about that, Doctor. Wash your hands first, please. Oh, right. And make sure this area is scrubbed before any more food is prepared in here. Absolutely. Sausages accepted. You may cook them immediately. I'll take the risk. <laughs> oh, of course. Too sweet. Leave it. No, no, I take... Leave it. No, no, it's not time, please. No, 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 please. I'm sitting here. There's no lunch till 12... I'm still having breakfast. <laughs> it's finished. All gone, breakfast kaput. I'm having sausages. He's not allowed. Put that back. <laughs> Look, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor and I want my sausages. I tell you, he's finished. Bye-bye, please, bye-bye. <laughs> Listen to men well. Now, look. He's finished. <laughs> Give those to me. Come on, come on. No, it's not possible. <laughs> I've been trying to sit down, he keeps moving things from my table. I'm so sorry. He doesn't seem to understand that I haven't finished breakfast. Manuel. Manuel, let me explain. Ah! Please sue this. understand? Yeah. I'll be ready in just a couple of minutes. Please sue this. There we are, Mr. Ingram's number eight. Top of the stairs on the right. Excuse me, not coming up with you. One of our guests has been taken ill. Thank you. I'm not sure that's the right room. In the office. Excuse me? Yes? We have an appointment with Mr. Lehman. Do you know where he is? Where he is? Um... <laughs> He's dead. Would he be in the dining room? <laughs> Might he be in his room? He's in the lounge. Uh, where, where is... <laughs> well, we've come to collect him. He left well, days ago. Him I'm sorry? Him. We've come to collect him. Oh, you've come to collect him. You left. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realise. Modern dress. What? Your dress is very modern. <laughs> I didn't realise women did it. Did what? <laughs> He's downstairs. No, no, in the basket. <laughs> I beg your pardon. He's in the basket. In the basket. Why would? Yes. Hello. Why would you? What? What's he doing in the basket? Dead guy. <laughs> well, not much. <laughs> what are you talking about? But don't you believe? No. Look. <laughs> oh my God, he's gone. Where is he? That's laundry. They've taken him. Huh? I love you, Manuel. Oh, God. Basil! This lady if is... If you could just hang on a couple of minutes, sorry to keep you... Oh, 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 it's all right. It's all right. We sorted it out. He's in this one. Oh. The doctor didn't want him in the kitchen, so we put him in the basket. It's more hygienic. Shut up, woman. Yes, you do work here. Yes. Well, we'd like to speak to the manager. Well, I'm the manager. Is there a problem? <laughs> well, he is, really. No, um, uh, there seems to be some kind of misunderstanding here. We've come to collect one of your guests, a Mr. Lehman, to take him into town for a meeting. A meeting? Yes, a meeting. With our managing director. <laughs> oh, I see, Miss, Mr. Lehman! Yes. We thought you said the linen. Brilliant. Sorry, sorry. That's it. That's it. <laughs> sorry to keep you. Hello, my sweet. What are you doing, Basil? Well, it's a bit involved here, yeah, but uh, we thought that uh, these gentlemen thought that we thought that they no, were coming. No, 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 no. That's not it. No, no. They, they were coming for Mr. Lehman, and we thought that they were coming to collect the linen. Mr. Lehman? Yes, so if you just sort that one out, dear, I'll take the linen upstairs, OK? I see. Thank you, Basil. Not at all. Would you mind coming into the office for a moment? Yeah, I lost it. Another one faulty? <laughs> no, no, same one, mate. Ah. Right. Oh, 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 
I've never had one, but wouldn't it kind of hurt to uh, use my brain? I shouldn't have said, forget everything I just said. Forget, I just stopped. Forget it. episode so far that was amazing love you guys um i hope i can separate this into two parts at most maybe three finishing up faulty towers how many episodes we got left two a deuce um then we'll finish on with uh second season of the office keep going with peep show on patreon and uh afterlife as well with ricky gervais Love y'all. Hope you're all doing well. See you next time. Bye, guys.